have paper. If not, you can have a cell phone and you need to draw this out or you can take a picture of it. Here we go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting ready to rock and roll and we are going into a new program today. This is called 1.1.5. Lily's going to draw it on the board for us. Thank you, Lily. This is the second day you are on. Yes, you may borrow pencil. What app did we just do? That was called uh, Count Me In. Thank you. Count Me In Engineering Design. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing 1.1.5. This is called Sound Decision. And I'm making this on video today so people can't say, oh, I missed the engineering design. Okay. So today we're going to use a technique called RAD. RAD is called rapid application development this is actually a computer science topic and I'm gonna explain this today we're gonna actually do this today okay I will not be here on Friday um, so we only have three days to work on this app. So we're, we are not going to start from scratch. I am going to do a rad. I know you guys voted on starting from scratch yesterday. We're not going to do it. I'm going to show you why. Okay. You're going to work smarter, not harder. I'm going to show you how. And this is a technique that I show you for the final. So once again, I'm going to get getting ready for the final. Okay. So today, um, let, me, let me just start to draw the screen and then I'll, I'll explain what we're doing. Okay. So here's our screen. Okay, and I don't want to square. All right, so today this is going to be our screen. We are going to go landscape, Lily. Okay, we're going to turn the phone sideways. Can you turn your phone off? What are you doing? You don't need to film that. I'm filming this. Okay, then you go get a piece of paper back there in that bag. Row five has plenty. All right. So what we're going to do here today is this is going to be your screen. You're going to put in here an image sprite ball okay this is going to be a canvas okay and your ball is going to bounce around the screen okay yep now if you remember last week, we talked about screens having edges. Okay. You have a north edge, which we don't call north. We're going to call number one. We have a northeast edge, which we're not going to call northeast. We're going to call number two. We're going to have an east edge, which we're not going to call east. We're going to call three. Are you guys getting this? We're going to have a southeast edge, which we're going to call four and we're going to figure out which edge this hit does that make sense we're going to have a southern edge which is going to be edge negative one we're going to have a southwest edge which we're going to call negative two and we're going to have a west edge which we're going to call negative three and we're going to have a north west edge which we're going to call negative four now you're going to notice that uh, diagonal from each other across from each other is 3 and negative 3, 4 and negative 4, 1 and negative 1. Are you guys with me on that? Because 
here's the cool thing about this is all we have to do is multiply by a negative one and we're going the opposite direction okay so we have a screen so um let's go ahead and talk about uh our app now so let's add so this is going to be a canvas all right so now let me go ahead and extend this page a little bit and uh, we'll go ahead and draw this out. Um, okay, so let me draw this out. This is going to be kind of ugly, but um, we're going to draw it out. Because um, I don't draw very well with this shape, uh, rectangle. Okay, so. This is our screen right here. So, Lily, on top. Yeah, we're going to put um, HA scoreboard. You got to just add it on, just add above it. Okay, width is going to be, anybody know what the width? Bill Parent, FP. Okay. And in here, we're going to have like an away score. Okay, you guys with me? Um, we're going to have the time. And we, we can play the game for like 60 seconds. Yeah, so this is going to be a great game to play any kind of a sporting event. Soccer, hockey, basketball, football, whatever game you want to do, this is going to be great. Okay. This is going to be, so here's another horizontal arrangement in here. This is going to be HA um, lower. This is going to be HA lower buttons with fill parent. You with me on there? And we can put some buttons in here. Um, this can be like. This is, can be BTN reset. Yeah, you can have shooting here if you want. Um, you can have shooting here, okay? BTN. We're gonna we're gonna use the app that we just have. So we're gonna have all this control panel in here. Are you with me? Um, so we can design this really, that's why I'm going to leave this kind of like open-ended here today. Are you with me? Um, the big thing in here is that you have to have CNV um, playing field. Okay. Um, with fill parent height. Field parent, okay. Um, if you guys want, you could put some image sprites in here. Uh, you could have multiple image sprites in here. Are you guys with me? So this is would be image sprite uh, player um, one. This could be image sprite player two. Or like you could do like Kyrie versus LeBron or some whatever you want to do in here. Are you with me? This is player two. So this is like smiley face one. This is like smiley face two. You guys with me on this? Okay. And then we're going to put, let me go get another color. We do have to have an image sprite ball in here. Okay. IMG sprite ball. Okay. Um. I would make its width like 30 by 30 or something. Yeah. Yeah. The reason why we want, okay, the, the original sound decision called for a ball, and I did a ball one time, and I did it one class, and I'm like, oh, my God, this is so boring. It's ridiculous. Let's say you want to do soccer ball. Well, when you do a ball, you can only color it one color, like white or black. Well, if you're going to do a soccer game, soccer balls are all different colors, right? So what we want to do here is put an image sprite ball in here, and I can get an image sprite to do everything that the ball can do. I can get it to bounce and go crazy. But the cool thing about the image sprite is we search the Internet. We get a real ball. You put a real ball in there. Are you with me on that? So don't put a ball in here. Put an image sprite ball in here. 
and then go to the internet and get a real ball. Are you with me? Um, so this could be like BTN kick, whatever you want in here. Um, you can have, uh, you know, you can do whatever buttons you want down here. I'm going to leave it a little open-ended today. Are you guys with me on this? Um, we do need a clock down here, okay, which we already have. I'm going to show you how to do this. Invisible component, we need a clock. We need text to speech. Text to speech. Um, we need an accelerometer, which we should already have. Um, and I'm getting ready to rad this here in a second. We're going to start flying. Um, what else do we need? Uh, a clock. To, oh, oh, we need. Okay, we need sounds in here because it's called sound decision. We need sounds one through eight. You need eight different sounds. Okay, why? Okay, let's go back to the canvas. This is edge one, two. Yeah, why? Uh, you could do a noise like that, but that's not the noise we're talking about here. What we want to do here is w there's eight edges. Everybody see the eight edges? One, two, three, four. Negative one, negative two, negative three, four. You with me on that? So when you hit an edge, when your ball comes up here and hits one, you're going to play sound one. I'm going to show you how to download Audacity. Audacity is freeware. You get 30 points for downloading Audacity. Okay, it's free. It's cool. It's a sound manipulation program. I'm going to show you how to do it. And I want you to come up with eight different sounds. Now, when I was in Kentucky and I did this class, I did like a drum set. You guys ever seen a drum set before? You got all the different size drums. You got the bass drum. You got the, the hi-hat. You got four different hi-hats. You got the mid drums. You with me? And I came up with a different drum sound, eight different drum sounds. And then when my ball started bouncing around the screen and I would speed it up, it's like, okay, it's like my, thank you. Uh, it's like my ball was bouncing and hitting these different sounds. You with me? Okay, so the ball is going to bounce and hit the different sounds. Does that make sense? That's why it's called sound decision. The ball is going to hit an edge. We're going to make a decision on which sound to play with an if statement. Done. Okay. But we're also going to, this is a great game. People love this for your final project. You can turn this game into an easy, easy sporting game. Okay. Who's got this? Everybody have their engineering design paper done. All right, let's rock and roll. All right, let's go out to MIT. All right. Thank you, Lily. All right, so we're back. We're recording still. You're going to notice that I have just pulled up. Count me in, right? Okay, I want everyone to watch here. I don't want any eyes down. Isaac, uh, guys, up. Eyes up. I want everyone to watch here what I'm going to do because what I'm going to teach you how to do is very tricky. It's not tricky, but if you screw this up, do you guys remember we just put in like five or six days of work here on this app? If you screw this up, you're going to screw up all five, six days that you just did on this app. Are you with me? Do you want to do that? No. So this is like doing surgery here, okay? Once you start cutting things apart, you better be careful on what, which, what, with what you're doing. Are you with me on that? You guys watching in the back? I don't feel like you are. Okay, so watch this. This is called RAD. Rapid Application Development. I am going to build my sound decision off of this app right here. Okay, so watch what I'm going to do. Project. Save project as, don't do it, don't do it. I saw you guys move. Don't do it. I'm going to save it as sound decision one underscore one underscore five. Isn't that right, Lily, what we called it? 
okay? And I'll call this period. You guys don't have to do this. This is period one, quarter three, 2017. Boom. Now watch. Give it a second. And it should resave this for me. Maybe. Project. Save project as. Sound. Decision. One underscore one underscore five. Period one. Quarter three. Um, and I'm going to put in rad here. Okay. I'm going to hit OK. And now, if it's working, it should resave this for me. Okay, there it goes. All right, there it goes. Now, do you see this? What's this say now? Sound decision. Okay, why do I do that? Do I still have, let's go back to my projects. Do I still have count me in? Yes. If I change things today to this project, which I'm going to do, right? Do I still have everything that I had on count me in? Yes. Can I go back to count me in and work on count me in? Yes. Okay. But now I have duplicate projects. Are you with me? And I'm getting ready to tear this project up. Okay. Yep. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these images right here, okay? So I'm going to go find this guy. I'm going to go to my screen one. Yeah. How do you not know we're on sound decision? I'm on sound decision right here. If you look, this is sound decision, okay? So I'm going to go to screen one. Do I want that highway anymore? No, I don't. So go to screen one. Background is that one right there. So I'm going to go to this guy right here. I'm going to go to delete. Okay. Yep, background's none. Okay. And now I'm going to take this car, image sprite player, and um, that car, my Lambo, is going to go to none. And I'm going to start deleting some of these pictures. Uh, my Lambo is deleted. And it's going to say, do you really want to delete it? Be like, yeah, I do. Okay, now one thing I'm going to do, do you remember we were in landscaped? Remember our page was going long? Remember that, Lily? Drew it really long. She did a great job up there. That's long. Okay, so I'm going to go to screen one here. And I'm going to go to screen, where is it? There it is, screen orientation. No, I don't want it unspecified. I want it landscaped. Now look what happens. Okay, you go to screen one, you go down to screen orientation, and click on landscape, okay? We don't need a checkbox, okay, or maybe we do. I'm going to delete this uh, horizontal arrangement checkbox. Okay, do we need the canvas? Yes, we do. So I'm going to rename that canvas. What am I going to rename it? CNV Playing Field. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to my image sprite. I have an image sprite in here somewhere. Okay. And I'm going to rename this image sprite. Image, I'm going to call it IMG SPR Ball. What do you think I'm going to put in there? A ball. Okay. All right. So, so let's go up here. Um, do I need LBL control count? Some of it. You're right. So I'm not going to delete it. I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to rename this guy 
LBL away. Yeah, that's going to be my away score. Let's let's just rename that so you guys know exactly what it is. Oh, away, away score. Okay. And now, um, so down here, I don't need all this anymore. I'm just going to say away colon space zero. Okay. And now I've got my away score. Now we can raise this up a little bit. How about 24? That looks pretty good. Let's go to time. Time can be 24. And there's my time. And now I need another label over here. And what's this label on the right-hand side going to be? Home. LBL home score. Okay. And then over here, I can go to home, H-O-M-E colon zero. And I'm going to probably need to give it a color. I don't know what colors I'm doing yet. Oops, I spelled it wrong. H-O-M-E colon zero. Okay. And this is 24 font. And I'm just going to, okay, you guys with me on that? So I'm going to go to my playing field. I'm just going to give it a color right now so you guys can see it. Uh, background color, I don't know, green. It's going to be a field. Okay, will somebody give me a theme so I can build off this? Yeah. Baseball? Pick another one. It's not a rectangular field. I want to go something more rectangular. Soc soccer, hockey, basketball, football, hockey. Volleyball. Okay. I'm just going to go. I'll go hockey just for the sake of today. So right now I'm going to go ahead and download. Um, I'm going to just go to hockey field. Okay, so I'm going to go do some of my downloading. Go to images. And here's one thing you always want to look for, okay, guys? Um, you want to find something that is, um, that's a nice one right there, okay? So, that's a good one. Okay, because that doesn't have a lot of edges on it. So I'm going to go to view image. Okay, right click, save image as. What am I going to do? I'm going to go back to my documents. And as soon as you start downloading something, what should you be doing today? Creating what? Yep, I should be creating a new folder. I'm going to create a new folder. Call it Sound Decision 1.1.5. We're skipping four. Okay, and I start dropping my stuff in there. Go back to MIT, I'm going to go to my playing field, and I'm going to upload my image. Go back to my documents, 16, 17. And notice that my field is also going left and right. Do you guys see how my field is landscaped? So you want to find a court or a field that is going landscape. Because, and this is why we normally go landscape, because most playing fields are rectangular. Basketball is rectangular. Hockey is rectangular. Are you with me on that? Football is rectangular. I don't, know of a, I don't know of really any sport that's played in a perfect square. Soccer's not a perfect square. That's a rectangle. Okay. So... Now what I want to do is I want to go get my image sprite ball in here. Okay, so now I've got to go find a hockey puck. Does that make sense? Hockey puck. I tell you what, do you guys care if I do soccer? Okay. I'm going to do soccer just because I want a ball. I want to show you how to get a ball. Are you with me? If you guys want to do hockey, do it. Yeah, it can be a JPEG. Okay, that's cool. I like that field there. All right, so view image. Okay, right click, save image as um, soccer field. All right, now I'm going to go back. Now I can go out and get soccer ball because I do want to show you. I want to talk about a ball. Okay. 
soccer ball. Wow, I like that one there. That's kind of a cool. See, that's why I like soccer balls. You get all these cool balls, you know. I like how soccer made these really cool. They don't just have black and white anymore. I like how they have all the different colors. Okay. And then later on Friday when I'm not here, you guys can do players. You can have player movement going back for you. You with me? Okay. All right, so let's go to MIT. Uh, let me go image sprite ball. I'm going to put in my image sprite. Choose a file. There's the ball. Open. That ball is probably going to be huge. I need to make it 30 by 30. And a lot of students say, Mr. Richter, my ball's not on screen. Yeah, I know. It's because it has coordinates, right? And your coordinates are off the screen. So go down to your coordinates and just go like 95, 95, 95, 50. Okay, there's my ball. Okay. My my canvas is height and width fill parent. So I'm going to probably do and reduce some of these. Um, but do you guys see how our control panel is taking up a lot now? So we probably want to change this and move this around. All right. Now, what are some other things that I need in here? Let's go down to media. Okay. We have clock game time. We have an accelerometer sound. We have one sound. We need two sounds, three sounds, four sounds, five sounds, six sounds, seven sounds, and eight sounds. We have nine minutes left. No, not right now because we're building this and you're going to miss it. Okay. I've never had a student die of thirst on me. It's not going to happen. Okay, you'll be fine. You've got nine minutes left. You can go in seven. Okay, I'll let you go early. All right. So I'm going to go work on my sounds real quick. Okay. Let's go to sound one. Okay. That's fine. That's sound edge one, sound edge two, that's sound edge three. Sound. Let's go to sound edge five. So this is going to be sound, rename, SND, edge, and negative one. Okay. I'm going to six. Rename six. SND, edge, negative two. Okay. Because we don't have seven and eight edges. Okay. So we're going to go rename this SND. Edge negative three. Then we're going to go to eight and rename eight. SND edge negative four. Okay. And then if you want, you could go to these and go SND edge one. Okay. Uh, two. Yep, eight sounds. S eight edges, eight sounds. S and D edge two. Okay. S and D edge three. S and D edge four. Okay. Now, the only thing I'm seeing here is that this control panel is humongous. Um, somehow, we need to reduce this and get this onto one level. Are you with me on that? Yeah, because my soccer field's really small. Um, we probably, I'm going to probably have to go up here to this scoreboard and reduce this to 18 and get as much room as we can. Okay, 18. And 18, and hopefully that'll blow up our our board a little bit. Um, 
I'm thinking about maybe doing like a, a panel going all the way across. Okay, so I'm going to come down here to this control panel. And so we got five columns. So I could like put this guy here, put this guy here. Are you with me on that? Put this guy here, put this guy here, put this guy here. And then um, let's go back to this control panel. Table arrangement. I'm going to make this two rows. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to have to do, do a little bit of work here. Um Let's go to my table arrangement again. I wonder if I lost all my buttons. You do. Six columns. 1 2 3 4 5 Six. Let's go. Let's what's the size of this one? Twenty four. So I'm gonna make this one twenty four. Now, this is a good lesson to learn. Just because we're doing rad doesn't mean there's no work you have to do. Are you with me on that? You still have to do work. Does this make sense? There's still work to do. Okay. But um how long how long have we been working on this and is this GUI almost finished yeah and how long did it take me what a few minutes right so I went project save as sound decision and now I have a GUI that's almost built for me yes sir Okay, then that means you're adding an image, not an image sprite. An image is not an image sprite, yes. So, yeah, if you guys notice this, I've lost my, uh, let's go to my table arrangement. So you want to go rows three again? There they are. So uh, what I'm trying to do right now is really reduce the, this control panel. I know this isn't perfect. Are you guys with me on this? I might have to work on this a little bit. Now, Riley, you think I can go to table arrangement and go back to two? Perfect. All right, yeah. So now I get a little bit bigger field. Um, do we want enabled in here? Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and delete all that. So if it's not letting you delete, just refresh the page. I don't know what to tell you on that. That's an MIT problem. It's not a. It's not our side problem. Uh, we've got two minutes left. So what else can I do here today? Um, oh, I need a soccer field in here, right? So I'm going to go to my background image, and I'm going to upload, choose a file. I want to go to soccer field. Okay, so there we go. I tell you what, I could take enabled and put it up here. How about that? There we go. That looks better. It's on the scoreboard side. That's too big, too small. Okay, so... Uh, let's make that a different color. 
Okay. So there you go. Um, we've got one minute left. So this is your first, your first, and then let's do one more thing. I've got 60 seconds. I'm going to go to my drawing animation, and I'm going to put in a player, and I'm going to have a player on both sides of these. Okay. So uh, I'm going to call them um, image sprite. So I'll rename that IMG SPR um, away player because I have an away team and a home team. Are you with me on that? And then this guy is going to get renamed as IMG SPR home player. Okay, done. So we can go get images off the internet and put those in tomorrow and then we'll start writing code. All right, great job today. Who learned something about RAD? Put them in your folders. Have a great day. Bye. Keep calm and code on.